Hello, I'm Beverly from the Midland Public Library, and today on Know Your Local Species, we are going to learn more about spiders, and this is part two. So if you're just tuning in, go to our YouTube page and watch part one and learn about more spiders. Today we're going to talk about several more spiders, the furrow spider. Colors can vary from black, gray, and shades of red. The abdomen is very large, smooth, and oval shaped. The lighter shaded arrow markings pointing towards the head on the abdomen. Legs have a similar arrow pattern, also known as furrow orb spider, or the foliate spider. Furrow spiders are found in Ontario in moist places. Underneath a water source, in the grass or shrubbery, these Spiders don't mind being by human structures either, like porches and corners of houses. Did you know that spiders can hear? Furrow spiders, like many other spiders, actually use the hairs on their legs to sense sound. They rarely bite, but if bitten, you will only have mild pain and a little discomfort. Banana spiders found in the woods in forests in Ontario. The reddish brown and yellow coloring and the yellow oblong shaped abdomen like a banana. Long straight yellow legs and black bands cover with hairs. The head is small and grayish and the black dots that kind of look like a skull. Look for their asymmetrical webs made of golden silk that can be found six feet in diameter. Female banana spiders are much larger than males. Like many other spiders, but luckily for the male, the females do not eat them after they mate. Banana spider silk is unique because they produce seven different types. The golden color of silk is also very strong and studies have shown it has the potential for use in surgeries to help with the nervous system. Isn't that interesting? The American grass spider. Both sexes have the same shade of brownish black pattern and stripes running from front to back. The abdomen is oblong and has two white stripes broken into sections. The head is lighter strip running down the middle, dividing the two stripes. American grass spiders is often one of the fastest running spiders in Ontario. Their webs are not sticky like other spiders, but once the silk is triggered, they use it to speed run quickly at their prey. The grass spider will typically stay in their web unless disturbed. Fortunately, they are harmless to humans. The black and yellow garden spider. I like this spider. I like the look of it. Both sexes have a light gray head and white or silver. The body is around one inches long. The abdomen has a wide black mark in the center and sides and is covered with yellow patches. The male is about a quarter of an inch in length, not counting the legs. Legs start off orange or dark yellow close to the body and mostly black towards the end. This spider is one of the most recognizable spiders in Ontario. Black and yellow spiders make beautiful webs with a distinct circular shape that can be two feet in diameter. Look for them on sunny open fields or gardens, as the name suggests. Look for a thick zigzag or silk in the center of the web, which help camouflage the spiders while they sit there. It's thought that the zigzag mark also helps deter large predators from running into it and destroying it. I know I immediately stop in my tracks if I saw one. They are also able to move their web vigorously while remaining in the center of it. They do this to prevent predators from taking a good part of the web and this helps entangle the insect before it gets loose and falls off. Black and yellow garden spiders are not aggressive, but they will bite if grabbed or provoked. However, the bite is harmless to humans and the worst it can do is feel like a bee sting. The red spotted ant mimic spider. Both sexes are black with red and orange markings on their back. The females are larger than the males. The red spotted ant mimic spiders are sometimes mistaken for the black widow. The reason for the confusion is because of the red and black coloring of both species. Luckily, with a little training, it's easy to tell the difference. The best place to look for them are under a rock, but it's not uncommon to see one in your home. 
The red spotted ant mimic spider gets its name from its weird behavior. They often walk with their two front legs held up in the air while twitching them, which gives the appearance of being six-legged ant with antennae. It does this to mimic ants, which allows them to get close enough to prey to attack. These aggressive spiders mostly target ants or other small insects and leave pets and humans alone. If you are bitten, you may have some swelling and redness at sight. People with allergies should be more cautious. Fishing spider. Both sexes can vary in color. Some are brown, black, and brown cream colored. Many species have a striking pale stripe down each side of the body, but others have dots down the side of the body. They're also known as fishing spiders, raft spiders, dock spiders, and wharf spiders. Now I've seen dock spiders and they have been huge. There are several species of fishing spiders in Ontario. They are all semi-aquatic except for one and it lives in trees. Fishing spiders are large nocturnal hunter spiders that find their prey around water. Many times you'll see them on docks by the lake during the day. These arachnids have special short velvet-like hairs that don't get wet, allowing them to stand and run on water. They wait for their prey to make a ripple and then they run across the water and grab it. Most fishing spider species eat insects, but some species actually catch small fish. They can also climb underwater because of their special lungs, which help them breathe while submerged. However, its trapped air makes them float, so they need to hold on to a rock or a plant or they will just float up to the surface. Spitting spiders. Light brown with dark brown spots all over its head and abdomen. And the dome shaped head is larger than the abdomen. Legs are light brown with several dark bands. Males are only slightly smaller than females. They prefer cool, dry places to live. You can find them under stones, outside of houses, and sometimes inside your home in the basement. Most spiders use their silk just to make webs. However, the spitting spider have two silk glands by their fang glands, so they actually spit the silk-covered venom at their prey to paralyze it. Sort of sounds like this is where Spider-Man got his inspiration. Luckily, the spitting spider is harmless to humans and pets. They never try to attack, and their fangs are not strong enough to penetrate human skin. Common spiders, both sexes can appear anywhere from nearly black to a variety of colors. They sometimes have patterns of different colors on their body. Females are larger than males, but females have a bulb-like abdomen and the males do not. These spiders are found in Ontario, near people. I know that I always find them in the garage. It was a surprise to me at how small common spiders really are, as they are generally only between five to six millimeters in length. Even though there are probably a few of them in your house right now, they are actually helpful because they feed on small insects and pests around your house like flies, ants and mosquitoes. Surprisingly, they are relatively docile. Bites do occur mostly to their proximity to humans. But have no fear, their venom is not dangerous in the least. Bowl or dolly spider. Small white round shiny abdomen with dark brown or black along the top of thick white vertical lines on the sides. White markings on the bottom of the abdomen, but the color can differ between spiders. Some are dark yellow and some have no color. Head is reddish brown. Have you ever seen patches of web in shrubbery or hanging low in the woods? If so, it was probably a web from a bull or dolly spider. They are best known for their horizontal sheet webs that resemble a bull, which is found in weedy fields or shrubs in all types of habitats. The spider sits at the bottom of the bowl and waits for the prey on the underside. Being at the bottom provides a spider safe but also allows, them a, allows a surprise attack. If you can imagine, they can bite their prey directly through the web. And then the harvestman spider, daddy long legs. Colors vary. Most are dull brown or dull gray, but some may be a yellowish, greenish brown or reddish. Look for a dark black streak, the middle and the sides. Single body regions, only two eyes that do not see well. Daddy Longlegs might be the most recognizable spider in Ontario. 
I know we see them often in our yards, typically hanging underneath playgrounds or rocks or logs in the woods. They are also very social, so you will many times find them in large groups. That's why they're all hanging out in my shower downstairs. But here's the crazy thing. Even though huntsmen look like spiders, these arachnids are technically not a spider. They are in the order of Ophelion and have no venom, lack fangs, and do not bite. In addition, daddy long legs can actually swallow solid food, which allows them to eat small insects, dead organisms, bird dung, and other fecal matter. This differs from spiders that only eat their prey after turning them into liquid. As you might guess by their name, their legs play a vital role in their life. They use their legs for breathing, walking, smelling, and capturing prey. Males have longer legs than females, which they will groom by licking with their mouth. There you go. I hope you have learned a lot more about spiders. Thank you for watching and look for the next Know Your Local Species. Bye for now.